According to Jewish tradition and some Christian beliefs, the Adamic language refers to the language spoken by Adam, and possibly Eve, in the Garden of Eden. This language is interpreted in different ways, either as the divine language used by God to communicate with Adam, or as the language Adam invented to name all things, including Eve, as described in the second Genesis creation narrative, Genesis 2.19. The concept of the Adamic language was significant in medieval and early modern thought as it related to the origins of humanity and the idea of human unity. During the Middle Ages, the belief in a primordial language spoken in paradise was widespread among different cultural and religious groups around the Mediterranean, including Jews, Muslims, and Christians. Many Jewish commentators of that era believed that Adam spoke Hebrew, a view also explored by the late medieval Italian poet Dante Alighieri. In the early modern period, discussions about the Adamic language continued, with some authors maintaining the belief that it was Hebrew, while others, like John Locke, expressed skepticism. In Ethiopian and Eritrean traditions, the ancient Semitic language of Ge'ez is considered the language of Adam, representing the first and original language according to these traditions. Dante Alighieri discusses this subject in his work De Vulgari Eloquentia, 1302-1305. He suggests that the Adamic language originates from the divine and therefore remains unchangeable. Dante also observes that, according to Genesis, the first speech act is attributed to Eve when she addresses the serpent, not to Adam. However, in his Divina Commedia, Dante shifts his view to suggest that the Adamic language was created by Adam himself. This change implies that the Adamic language is not immutable and consequently challenges the idea that Hebrew is identical to the language of paradise. In his work Paradiso Nandart 16, Dante concludes that Hebrew is derived from the language of Adam. Specifically, Dante suggests that the primary Hebrew name for God in scholastic tradition El is derived from a different Adamic name for God, which Dante identifies as I. The book of Genesis recounts that before the construction of the Tower of Babel, the entire world spoke a single language and shared a common speech. The people settled in Shinar and decided to build a city and a tower that reached the heavens to make a name for themselves and prevent being scattered across the earth. When God saw this, he remarked that if people could communicate freely, nothing they imagined would be impossible. To disrupt their plans, God confused their language so they could no longer understand each other, leading to the dispersion of humanity across the earth. This event is why the place was named Babel, signifying the confusion of languages and the scattering of people. As there were only nine generations between Adam and Noah, it is probable that the language spoken by Adam was also spoken by Noah and his family. This language likely remained the sole language until the events at the Tower of Babel, where languages were confused. By the 17th century, the existence and characteristics of the Adamic language were subjects of discussion among European Jewish and Christian mystics, as well as early linguists. Robert Boyle, 1627-1691, was doubtful that Hebrew was the most suitable language for describing the nature of things. He remarked, I could never find that the Hebrew names of animals mentioned in the beginning of Genesis indicated a clearer understanding of their natures than did the names of the same or other animals in Greek or other languages. John Locke, 1632-1704, shared similar doubts in his work, An Essay Concerning Human Understanding, 1690. According to traditional Jewish interpretation like Midrash, it's suggested that Adam spoke Hebrew because the names he gave to Eve, Isha and Chava, have meaning in Hebrew. However, in Kabbalistic thought, there's an idea of an eternal Torah that's distinct from the Hebrew Torah. For example, in the 13th century, Abraham Abu Lafia proposed that the language spoken in paradise differed from Hebrew, opposing the contemporary Christian belief that an unexposed child would naturally speak Hebrew. Additionally, both Muslim and Christian Arabs, like Suleiman al-Ghazi, believed that Syriac was the language spoken by Adam and Eve. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.